Oh, I seriously dislike the Clippers. What's going on everybody? Welcome back in. Definitely do me a huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and also subscribe for more Phoenix Suns content, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about Game 1 Clippers versus the Phoenix Suns. And let me tell you right now, it's an absolute heartbreaker. I'm going to try to do my best to try to, you know, keep composed. But man, the Suns going down 0-1 against the 5th seed. The Suns were the 4th seed. And now we're 0-1 at home, losing by 5 it's just stuff that you don't want to see happen for your Phoenix Suns. Obviously, the Phoenix Suns, I, I think the the root of this game in terms of why we lost, it, it started off in the first quarter. It didn't seem like the Phoenix Suns, I'm not going to say like their hearts weren't in it, but like nothing was working for the Phoenix Suns. Like we scored 18 points to the Clippers, 30 points. Like the Clippers, everything was working for the Clippers on quarter one. Now, Granted, in quarter two, we had KD coming up and he had an absolute amazing second quarter and everything was starting to, you know, be on the come up here for the Phoenix Suns. We scored 36 points to their 29. Everything was looking good. Third quarter was ours as well, 27 to their 22. And then the fourth quarter came around, which towards the end of it all, it seemed like the Phoenix Suns towards the last like minute, maybe minute and a half, we couldn't get a defensive rebound to save our lives. I believe there was like three straight offensive rebounds for the Clippers and it was just multiple chances for the Clippers to come back into this game and obviously they ended up beating us by five points and it sucks. It really does suck because I do feel like this game could have been ours, but like you cannot allow a game for their star player in Kawhi Leonard to score 38 points. 38 points! That's right. It's insane. This man pretty much went off in the second half and he just really couldn't be stopped at all. Zubak also got involved. Eric Gordon, for the love of God, had 19 points. Um, off the bench, Powell, um, Terrence Mann had 10 points. Double digits for them too. Now the Phoenix Suns, I felt like they had a good game. Kevin Durant with 27 points. Torrey Craig, absolutely amazing game. And it sucks that this game had to be wasted with his production that he gave to the Phoenix Suns. But if you really think about it, 22 points from Torrey Craig, 27 points from Kevin Durant. Aiton, I, I feel like he had a pretty good game. I know there was kind of some frustrations from Phoenix Suns fans being that he wasn't being as aggressive as we all want him to be. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, eight rebounds. Um, no, actually a total rebounds. I think he actually had more rebounds than that. I think he had, yeah, eight rebounds. I apologize. Yeah. Eight rebounds is what he had 18 points. And honestly, I I'll take that. Chris Paul didn't have the best of games in terms of points, but uh, he ended up getting 11 rebounds and 10 assists. So very, very good to, you know, keep this team involved. Devin Booker with 26 points um, off the bench. We didn't have very much production. And I think that's kind of where we fell flat a lot. We had a lot of our star players make some really, really good points. Booker, Aiton, Craig, as well as Durant. But our bench was just sleeping. Um, Biombo didn't really play very much at all. Only had two points. Chuck Landale came in uh, for eight minutes, four points. Shamit with four points. And that's kind of the extent of what happened in the bench. Um, you need production. Obviously, you, you need uh, you need some time for the starters to rest because we're going to find ourselves in a situation where, you know, they might have been playing very, very tired towards the end of it all because the bench couldn't really do very much here for the Phoenix Suns. Now, granted, yes, campaign ha wasn't playing this game, and I do think that that was a big factor for the Phoenix Suns. I'm not saying if campaign played this game, then we would have won, but it would be nice to have some production on the bench from campaign, but obviously he wasn't able to play today, and the Phoenix Suns do fall again by five points and it sucks like I said earlier because you really wanted this game at home now we do the, the good thing about the NBA is that we are going to have another opportunity this Tuesday uh, so in a couple games we'll be able to come right back and see if we can you know be one and one against the Clippers because that's exactly what we need now that is going to be another home game for the Phoenix Suns now on Thursdays our game three that's going to be an away game if we can somehow sneak two and be leading this um the series that would be wonderful but as of right now TBD I want to see what the Phoenix Suns do in game two um and it's very important to start off 
good it's very important to start off hot we don't want to go down 0-2 against the Clippers right and then go uh you know to their home uh, it's definitely something you don't want to see uh next game obviously uh, I want to see more production from our bench I want to see Kawhi Leonard be you know held to less than 30 points uh, I want to see us starting off hot and production from the bench, like I said a little earlier. Guys, how are you guys feeling so far about the way the Phoenix Suns performed today against the LA Clippers? Are you optimistic? Are you feeling some sort of way that there's no coming back from this? Let me know in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. The beauty of the NBA is that we got multiple games. It's not just one and done like it is in the NFL. We got multiple games to turn this around, and I really do hope that the Phoenix Suns can turn this ship around and see if we can keep it going. So ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Definitely smack the like button and also subscribe for more Phoenix Suns content. We're going to be trying to do this throughout the entirety of this playoff run. Appreciate you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, go Suns.